Though various sightings of UFOs were reported over hundreds of years before the mid-1940s, World War II marked the beginning of a new phase of interest. Kenneth Arnold's hysteric 1947 sighting, combined with a highly publicized UFO incident that took place later that summer near Roswell, New Mexico, did more than anything else to fuel this frenzy of interest in otherworldly visitors and established an entire new subculture known as ufology. On June the 24th, 1947, the civilian pilot Kenneth Arnold reported seeing nine objects glowing bright blue white light flying in a V formation over Washington's Mount Rainier. He estimated the object's flight speed at 1,700 miles per hour and compared their motion to a saucer if you skip it across water. Though Arnold said he initially thought what he had seen were test flights of military aircraft, the military later said they had been conducting no test flights during the time of the incident. A prospector on Mount Adams saw the objects at around the same time as Arnold, bolstering his story. After news of Arnold's sightings hit the media, similar sightings began to be reported in increasing numbers across the United States. Also, in July 1947, a Roswell, New Mexico newspaper claimed that personnel of the nearby U.S. Army airfield had recovered a crashed flying saucer. The Army, in turn, explained that the crash was that of a wrecked weather balloon. Though the Roswell incident was mostly forgotten until the late 1970s, around that time several eyewitnesses began to come forward claiming the weather balloon was in fact an alien craft. In response to the increasing number of UFO sightings that followed Arnold's reports, the US Air Force began an investigation of these reports called Operation Sign in 1948. Among the initial theories of the project's participants was that the UFOs were actually types of sophisticated Soviet aircraft, although there was also a hypothesis that they might be extraterrestrial spacecraft. Regarding the June 1947 sighting over Mount Rainier, Air Force investigators deemed both Arnold and the prospector to be credible witnesses but concluded what they had seen was a mirage not actual flying ships. Project Sign was succeeded in 1949 by Project Grudge, which in 1952 became Project Blue Book, the longest running of the US government's official inquiries into UFOs. Project Blue Book compiled reports of more than 12,000 UFO sightings or related events from 1952 to 1969. Of these, more than 90% were eventually classified as identified, meaning they were caused by a known astronomical atmospheric or man-made phenomenon. The remaining number, approximately 6%, were unidentified and included cases in which there was insufficient information to assign the event a known cause. Thank you everyone for watching today's documentary. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, make sure to tune in again tomorrow for another brand new episode.